Okay, the guy wearing the fucking leather jacket. Yeah, okay, stay there. That's good. Perfect. Don't move. The guy in the blue armor, look to the right like five degrees. Hey, Unreal! like throttle control so I'm off the throttle right now right now I have 10% throttle now I'm off the throttle completely now I have just a little bit of throttle so like my mindset is um, like right now I'm only 5% throttle like I'm just okay now he's starting to pull away from me so now I increase my throttle now I let it go again right so it's, it's very easy on the throttle right I'm only have a 5 10% throttle push now I'm about now I'm 100% throttle and I'm, I'm kind of making my way around him here, right? Because I'm at the extended side of the loop. Now, as I crest the corner around, what I want to do is I want to let go of the throttle. Okay, so I'm only at about 5%, 10% throttle now. Now I'm back to 100% because he's kind of looping me around. No throttle right now, all strafing up. Again, now I'm back on 100% throttle because I want to close distance. Just keep walking around him. Keep walking around him. Okay, right? Now I'm back 100% throttle because I got a close distance. Maybe get a boost. Now I'm zero again, zero throttle. So every time you see me loop around, right, and I start to fall outside, then I push the throttle. But my throttle is ma being managed like um, every second of that fight. Like I'm never just pedal to the metal, like go, 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 right? There's blood. There's my boy in a hammerhead. So let's see here Kingpin, Ares Ion Starfighter. So we've got some weapon Weapons power online. issues. Weapons online. Krino's on him here. And he has warped out. Welcome back, everybody. Today's daily video, we're going to talk a little bit about throttle management during a fight. So a lot of times I see common mistake people doing in today's kind of PvP world is they're usually either not touching the throttle much at all, or they're they've got lead foot and by lead foot I mean their their foot is on the pedal and it's just go 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 all the time and what happens is this leads to this leads to basically slingshotting uh, unnecessary extensions uh, unnecessary extensions being when you pass in the merge the ships fly too far away from each other as you start to turn around and by the time you turn around and go back to nose to nose you're outside of gun range right so the best way to deal with this kind of behavior is proper throttle management and control, but it requires a bit of a fine touch. Now for mouse and keyboard, you might have to use your scroll wheel to kind of change your speed relative. Um, you might have pedals like me and control your acceleration with your feet. You might have a left hand on a stick or a HOTAS setup. Whatever you're currently using for throttle, understand that the mechanics behind it are the same. It doesn't really matter if you're using a Guitar Hero keyboard, or well, maybe a Guitar Hero, any kind of analog axis. And by analog, I mean anything that has a throw to it. It's either, it's not a digital key, it's not a one or a zero on or off, it's a, it's a, it's a throttle discipline, right? So like this turn right here, I would be maybe 10% throttle, and that's just to keep myself moving forward towards the target, but not overextending my speed so that I end up, what I talked about before, pushing through unnecessarily and extending when I don't want to, right? Because right now I don't want to extend. I want to get as close and tight as I possibly can. And remember, we're always working against the nose direction of the ship we're engaging. He's aiming up and to the right. So we are strafing down and to the left, right? We're always walking around the direction that he's going in. Now, he has two choices. One, he can use his main thrusters to try to pull himself out of this because right now he's lost the turn fight. He has no choice whatsoever. He has no choice but to either get distance by using his main thruster or running or pitching his nose down and strafing up as hard as he can to create an extension by flipping the, uh, the direction of the circle fight upside down. Now here, here's a good example of a little bit of a sloppy maneuver on my part. 
Um, again, shooting a little bit too much in yaw, but, you know, went in Rome, right? Uh, obviously, he was able to get guns on just at that last second here because I ended up extending. My throttle management wasn't perfect. It was good, but uh, it wasn't perfect, and I ended up actually overshooting a little bit there. So here I go back into the turn again, right? He finally gets his nose on me, and I, I do an S turn, right? I flip the direction of the fight. We were rotating there, and then we flip the other direction. Now he's going to track onto me again, and I'm going to flip across his nose the opposite direction until he finally tries to get back on me. And again, right, he's aiming up and to the right, so I'm strafing down and to the left. And again, right, right now I'm just pushing easy, very easy 10, 15% throttle. But see, now he starts to pull away from me. Now the throttle gets, gets higher. Now the throttle accelerates, and you can see I close up. Now my throttle's off again, right? So whenever you kind of run in these oval type fights because it's never a perfect circle but when you start to extend away from your target that's when you want to put your foot down on a throttle now if your foot's already 100% throttle the whole time you're going to continuously and forever fight in these very long drawn out oval circles and that's what you want to avoid right you want to get close onto your target get under their turn rate punish them as best you can and win those fights right and the best way to do that is real simple is if you're too close just again don't push the throttle so much just just go easy on it and reuse your bottom thrusters to pull yourself around those corners nice and tight and then when you find yourself slowly drifting away from the target gradually push the throttle forward to get that distance don't go crazy don't slam the foot down and be like you know we break for nobody Woo! like just slow down slow down it's gradual, it's deliberate, it's precise, it's masters. Okay? All right, guys, that was today's daily tip. I hope to see all you folks up for stream. And I thank you so much for all the love and support all you folks have given me. I hope you guys learned something. And ultimately, I hope you are entertained. I will see all of you folks in the next video.